Hi everyone, welcome to Conversations with Elise Quevedo. Today, I have the honor of being joined by Jimmy Mystery, serial entrepreneur, chairman of the Della Group and founder of the recently launched Della Leaders Club, the world's first business platform. Hi Jimmy, thank you so much for joining me today. Hi, it's completely a pleasure to be with you and speak with you. Thank you. Now, Jimmy, a few weeks ago, I was approached by the DLC team to become an honorary member at one of the global committees. And I have to admit, I get multiple requests per week, which I often say no to, but I always look at each of them carefully. And let me tell you something. It took me less than 30 seconds to know that I had to be a part of this vision and that I wanted to talk to you and share with the world what Della Leaders Club is all about. Your mission statement, which is to create a global community of transformative leaders who want to evolve from a life of success to a life of significance, is all I needed to know. Because on the first book I wrote, I talk about similar values. So for me, Jimmy, I resonated with this so much and I didn't really need to know much more. So Jimmy, please share with us what DLC is all about and where did your inspiration come from to have such a powerful mission statement? Also, I see, but for me, DLC comes in from a belief system that entrepreneurs need a support or a platform. And DLC is a global community of entrepreneurs, professionals, and young leaders. Uh, and DLC brings to you the world's first business platform. It all started with a simple idea uh, that there are platforms and platforms in the world. Uh, for makeup, there is a platform. For strategy, there's a platform. For human resources, there's a platform. For security, there's a platform. For, for everything in the world, from vegetables to fruits uh, to, to agriculture, there are platforms. Unfortunately, and fortunately for us, there isn't a single business platform in the world. What do I mean by a business platform? A platform that entrepreneurs from Moscow to Kiev, New York to India to Calcutta to Mumbai can connect to, get their day-to-day -day business knowledge from, get their inspiration from, use the platform as a, as a sounding board across. That doesn't exist. And for that reason, I, I am happy that we landed up inventing something like this. And it should have been done years, years, years back. One platform that entrepreneurs can go to and a secure environment. It is not a social media platform. There are too many social media platforms. There is fantastic LinkedIn and there are so many of them. But when it comes to a trusted platform of a community that doesn't exist, that's what DLC brings to you. And that's what DLC is. Uh, thank you, Jimmy. And once again, I want to congratulate you on the soft launch that happened a few days ago, because you had leaders from across the world joining in. This is a platform created in India, but it is a global movement. And I want to talk about the committees, because you have launched both business and lifestyle committees at the same time. Why is this balance so important and why haven't we seen this before? So we, we, we realize that entrepreneurs for a life of significance need business as well as lifestyle. You cannot lead a significant life unless and until you have business and lifestyle both as a part and parcel. Hence we divided 13 equal committees in business and 13 equal committees in lifestyle. So that's, that's, been, that's been the reason for bringing. Uh, you cannot lead a significant life if you don't, want, don't have the desire to help other human. You cannot lead a significant life if you don't have empathy. Uh, you cannot have empathy if you do not start understanding and building into the DNA, your own human-centric DNA and the DNA of your organization. So all of this is interrelated and correlated. And hence, we make a statement that we want to act as a catalyst to drive people from a life of success to a life of significance. Not even more than if you take 100 people, not even 3 to 4% of the people lead a significant life. Everybody else is running after money, 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 business, business, growth, business, growth, money. And by the time they're about to retire, they realize, shucks, we missed on something. Now let's do charity and let's serve the community. But I don't think it needs to be that way. You need to serve the community from day one, even before you start working. I think you need to inculcate the sense of helping others way, way early in life. You need to do something for others to be happy. You cannot be happy unless and until you do things for others. Uh, doing things for yourself, you may buy a Rolex or a Rolls Royce, 
but that's for yourself that can only bring you momentary happiness but when you do things for others that brings you long term genuine happiness and that is that is that is the essence that we are trying to drive people across that yes be super successful in business yes stay ahead of the curve we'll give you a platform that will give you all the knowledge you need help shout and ask for it via blc genie we'll reach out to you we'll unleash the power of this global community we've created with some of the most eminent men and women across the world and also the most important thing is give back uh give back doesn't need to be always in terms of money but giving back can be in terms of your intellect there's a easiest to give it doesn't cost money you give your intellect you give your knowledge let people put your knowledge to use so that they grow because they grow they create more jobs they create more employment they help other humans and that's that's the given take in the society that we wish to see give a lot more and back in back you receive a lot more Wow, Jimmy, you are so inspiring. And this is exactly why I wanted to get on this call with you and share it with everyone. Because your vision, how you've just shared, is not just about the money. It's about giving back in multiple ways. If you are fortunate to have uh, wealth in monetary value, yes, you can give back that way. But you can give back with little things such as buying someone a coffee on the street. You can give your knowledge. You can give your time. You can give a kind word to somebody. So I completely understand this. And Jimmy, you are such an extremely experienced entrepreneur and a very successful business individual it is actually hard for me to name everything you have accomplished for the past 25 years which reflects now in what you're doing at DLC so for anyone watching please head over to jimmymystery.com to understand what this man has accomplished because i cannot name it or i will be here for the rest of the day so my question to you jimmy is what would you say is the biggest lesson or lessons from your past experience that you are now bringing into the DLC project uh as you again go back to the support system uh when i started as a first generation entrepreneur uh, you know i didn't have a telephone at home i didn't have a vehicle to travel in i didn't have anything across and to top it all uh it was the icing on the cake i dropped out of college so for me i i precious little or nothing apart apart from the spirit of entrepreneurship uh so what what dlc brings to you is a spirit of entrepreneurship the spirit of entrepreneurship predominantly allows you to think in a go giver concept of management uh you give to receive uh, and and you can only give to succeed and if you succeed success has to be defined what does success mean to you is it only money or is it the number of lives you touch and the societies and the communities around in your work sphere that you actually impact so for me very early on in my life my success was always my people my growth meant nothing if my people are not together uh if my friends were not together my family was not together i mean growth meant nothing uh, so for me uh lifestyle enjoyment parties fun all of this is very very important as a as a part and parcel of being successful and also what's very important is the communities we work in uh, you uplift the communities also what is very important is not just the local communities you uplift you also uplift your fraternity what do you do for your fraternity so i have been made whatever i have been made is with design and i want to contribute back to the world of design so at all times i'm trying to innovate things and think how can i impact the world of design how can i get design learning and knowledge to the poorest of poor because that is is success to me uh you may be the biggest designer in the world but if you're only working for money i don't think i, I don't think your work is going to stand the test of time uh anthony gori wouldn't have been gori had he worked for money uh and and so on and so forth the biggest people and the best things in the lives have been created uh legends have been created not because they work for money uh so for me this this is the very foundation of dlc this is the very foundation of creating this community of like minded people who believe in equality who believe in who believe in giving back because the more you give back the more you receive you may receive in happiness you may receive in satisfaction uh, you may receive in knowledge you may receive in health i mean you may receive so much more because the more you give the more you land up receiving from people uh today uh, i don't know about the businesses i set up and what i've achieved but i think what i've really achieved across the world is this brand trust uh and and relationships with people which has stood the test of time 
So people are a phone call away. And my relationships have been very warm and strong, not just in India, but globally. And that's what I'm capitalizing on today in DLC. Because when I speak to somebody, they know I mean business. I will not take up something and do it for a while and lose interest and exit. Uh, from the beginning, I've never exited a single business of mine. Whatever I started, I've actually persevered, continued, delegated, and moved to the next thing. But I've always continued to run, operate the businesses that we are into. And hence, we operate about six businesses. They are, they are all run. And these are tough times. And we are struggling. And we are working. And we are innovating ourselves. But yeah, we are leading from the front. So if it's hospitality, we are leading from the front. We are teaching teaching the country and the rest of the hospitality world. How can you, in adverse situations, still raise your head above the water and still try and swim and stay afloat? And, and, and you need to innovate yourself. You need to think of yourself. And you need your people with you while doing all of this. So uh, for me, it's not important for me to swim alone. It's important for me to swim together, swim with everybody. And if somebody's going down, it's my moral responsibility to go give a hand, give a support system, lift the person up, and we all swim and move together towards safer grounds. You can definitely see why you have been such a successful individual for over 25 years, and you're definitely an asset to society. So I look forward to being also part of this DLC journey and learn from you as well, because, and I want more people to know about you. Uh, I wish I had met you sooner and I had been a part of tracking this journey that you are, because what you're doing, uh, I think you're gonna inspire a next generation of entrepreneurs and leaders, which I know is one of the core uh, parts of DLC. See. So my last question for today, Jimmy, what can we expect to see at DLC during the next 12 months? Uh, I see a lot because last 12 months have gone to uh, speaking to people across the world and bringing these amazing men and women like yourself on this platform, each, each having the same common thread, the spirit of entrepreneurship and wanting to help impact human lives in a positive way. So now that we've collected the strength, uh, we set up the technology platform to start generating content because DLC is going to generate content at like nobody for the world of entrepreneurs and for the world of professionals. So there is enough and more content uh, to the point of noise on Google. Anything you Google, there's, there's enough and more information. But when it comes to curated information for running your day-to-day -day business, and especially if your business is not into the smaller segment, but the mid to large segment, when the business is a mid segment, there is precious little content on Google. Mid-segment businesses cannot afford to risk trusting content on Google and taking business decisions. You need a secure environment. That's what we've created via the medium of these 26 committees. Let's take the example of digital marketing. Every organization is trying to reinvent itself after COVID. And, and you, for reinventing itself, you cannot do without the digital medium. So our marketing and digital marketing and PR committee is going to roll out content. Now, this content is going to be very different from what's available on Google. This content is not meant for the professional practitioners of digital marketing. It's not meant for novices and startups. It's meant for established businesses. How do you gain management insights into digital marketing so that your organization stays ahead of the curve? You might hire the finest consultant. You might hire the best employees and have, have departmental heads and stuff like that. You as management also need to understand that subject matter. And hence, take well-informed decisions to control your consultants or to control your employees. Where do, where do you get the knowledge for that decision-making ability? So that is what DLC is going to do. DLC is going to generate content coming from the best people in the world, purely curated towards management. So management knowledge in digital marketing, management knowledge in cybersecurity, management knowledge in human resource, management knowledge in leadership. It's all to do with management knowledge, and it's all to do with day-to-day decision-making. So it's not, it's, not a, it's not a platform which is for learning, for certification, for graduation. It's a platform for taking day-to-day -day business decisions. So there isn't a single aspect of business that you think of and content is not available on DLC. Between our 26 committees, we have content on business, on lifestyle, and it will touch almost every aspect of human life and every aspect of business life. If there is something you come across that you need knowledge for, and it's not there on the platform, you need to seek specific advice. You can use DLC Jimmy as an as a, as a app and reach out to us and we'll unleash the power and potential of this community 
to make sure we reach out to you and help you with that. So that's that's the game uh, we are launching in New York, hopefully in August or September, depending on locking and locking situations, physically launching, bringing the whole New York community together. We are launching London, we are launching Dubai, Bangalore is being announced for 17th of July. Uh, so I've got, a, I've got a roadmap ahead uh, to launch these 15 cities physically in each city. We've already done an online launch. We are also getting each of our committees meetings held. The first online meeting, so the committees come together. Uh, so for example, uh, we, have, we have Happiness Committee. So Happiness Committee exists in Mumbai as well as in London, as well as in New York. So there are four to five people in the in Happiness Committee in each of these cities. We are having our first happiness meeting and, and we want to begin with happiness. We also want to begin with leadership because in times pandemics like these, one can be defining moment for an organization as a good leader. And if you can put all our energies into trying to make sure that we bring you all-rounded leaders and we bring you all the knowledge that's required for an all-rounded leader, uh, it, would be, it would be great service to society to begin with. So we've got a roadmap ahead. Uh, we've got 26 global committee meetings. We've got a forum meeting uh, and we've got our 15 cities to be launched. Uh, all during this lockdown, semi-lockdown, opening, not opening, next pandemic coming. Uh, I hope the next wave never hits any country whatsoever. And I think humanity suffered enough. Uh, it's time we go out there and support as many people and help as many people come up who've gone below ground, who've come, gone below the water to come up and have a beautiful life. And we play some role in contributing towards it. Wow, what a powerful and inspiring time I think is coming ahead. And as you mentioned, some launches will go ahead. Uh, fingers crossed the lockdowns are over in uh, most of the world as you launch. So thank you so much, Jimmy. I appreciate you taking time to jump on this chat and sharing what this incredible club will do for the future of our society, not just in India, but at a global level. So ladies and gentlemen, head over to delaleaders.com for more information. And as Jimmy said, let's evolve from a life of success to a life of significance. This is Elise Quevedo. Until next time. Thank you, Jimmy. Ciao, Lisa. Pleasure speaking with you. It's wonderful. Looking forward to meeting you in person someday soon. Cheers. Thank you.